Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today following yesterday's release of Evasion, which as many of you know is the first iOS 6 untethered jailbreak utility that supports all iPhone, iPad, and iPod touch models that can upgrade to 6.0 through 6.1. I decided to make this video to share with you guys some of my favorite tweaks from Cydia. Now, I was very careful in compiling this list because I had to make sure that all of them would function on the iPhone 5 because that's what I'm actually using for this video, and I had to mostly select universal tweaks, so a lot of them should work on iPad and iPod Touch models as well. All right, and without any further ado, let's jump in. I'm going to go over a list of top Cydia tweaks, and they're in no particular order. However, I wanted to start out with my favorite, so coming in in position number one, we have Activator. It's actually automatically installed by SB settings and a lot of people overlook it and they don't take advantage of its full functionality. Now opening up Activator, select where you want to set it up. So let's just do at home screen and then from here you get a ton of different options. And these are combinations of hardware button reassignments to things like gestures and various on-screen actions. And let's actually go down to icon spread. So in theory when I'm on the springboard, when I spread the icons apart, it should do whatever I have it set to do. And just for the sake of this video, let's have it activate SB. SB settings. And I also have Activator set to emulate the home button if I do a three or four finger pinch inside of an application. So let's do that now to demonstrate. So as you can see, it did go to the home screen and let's do that icon spread that we just set and it does pop up. Also, I have a ton of other actions set up as well, such as double tapping in the top right hand corner brings up my multitasking tray and pinching on the icons actually locks the screen. And for the second tweak in this video, we have SB settings, which integrates quite nicely into Notification Center. As you can see, we have the SB settings options right here. It allows you to do things such as change the brightness level without going into the settings application, toggling on or off Wi-Fi, as well as various other settings. And you can also do things like directly respring your device or reboot it straight from within Notification Center. And you can also enable the option to actually have an SB settings window, which is kind of redundant with Notification Center, which is why I don't use the window pop-up method anymore. And SB settings also offers more functionality, such as the ability to actually set a custom carrier. As you can see, instead of displaying the normal AT&T letters, it now displays ICU ID for iCrack your iDevice. And for the third tweak, we have Byte SMS for iPhone users. It's essentially a custom text message application that replaces your normal messages app, and it will allow you to send iMessage, SMS, and MMS messages. So you may be asking, well, what's the point of Byte SMS? It offers a slew of awesome features that you can set. For instance, since you can enable a text message signature. However, what I mostly use it for is its quick message and quick reply functionality. So let me give you a quick example of what I mean. I'm just going to send myself a text message from my iPod touch here. And once it comes through, I will be able to quick reply to that message. All right, so all I have to do is just tap on it and it brings up quick reply. Now I can actually swipe down here to view the full text message history. I can open it, I can call the person, and I have a few other actions, but what you mostly use it for is to just directly reply to the person without actually opening up the messages application, which in my opinion is absolutely amazing and it's definitely better than stock messages. Next up we have tweaks four, five, and six, which are all very similar. The fourth one is five column springboard and it allows you to add five columns of icons Icons onto your springboard. The fifth one is five icon dock, which as the name suggests, allows you to have five icons in your dock, very similar to the previous tweak, five column springboard. And for the sixth one in this video, we have five icon switcher, which as you may have seen earlier when I brought up the multitasking tray, it allows for five application icons to be displayed in your icon switcher. All right, and coming in at seven, we have flux. And this is a great tweak and screen modification that automatically changes the color levels and it shifts them to more red, during the night time, which is supposed to be easier on your eyes, and I've found that it actually works very well. So let me give you a quick preview. So that's what it looks like at night, and that's what it looks like at day. You can clearly tell the difference, and even though it can throw off the colors, it's definitely great and worth checking out. For eight, we have Bolt, which as you may have noticed by now, I actually don't have a battery icon. Instead, I just have the percentage, and that's all Bolt does. It removes the battery icon, and if you're familiar with jailbreaking, you'll know that the more real estate you can get, in the top status bar, the better, because a lot of tweaks actually do use the status bar for various things, such as notifications. 
And for number nine, we have Icon Renamer, which as the name suggests, allows you to rename applications. All you have to do is get them into the wiggle mode, tap on one of the applications, and then simply change the name to whatever you want it to. So let's just change the name of iTunes to A, and we'll set that and apply that. So now as you can see, iTunes has been replaced with just an A. And for number 10, we have Multi-Icon Mover, which allows you to move multiple icons at once. So let's say this page is getting too crowded, or we want to move applications on this page to another page page. What we can do is tap and hold to get the applications into wiggle mode and then just tap on them to get that red check mark. Of course, because I also have icon renamer installed, it's bringing up the prompt to rename the application. So if you have both of them installed, all you have to do is hit cancel and your red check mark on the application you had previously tapped will still be there. So let's move a couple of applications. I'm just going to select two from that page and I want to also select two from this page. Now, once I have my application selected, all I have to do is go to the page I wanna move them to and then press the home button and it will move all of those applications at once, which is actually very useful. And this is a really old tweak. I don't see why Apple hasn't included this functionality directly into iOS yet. Now for number 11, we have IntelliScreen X6. And this is really an awesome tweak. I don't have time to fully get into it in this video, but as you can see, what it essentially does is it places your notification center directly on your lock screen. And you can access anything that you would normally be able to access in notification center. It has a bunch of different customizable options, and you can even swipe over to do things like post to Facebook and Twitter, or even check various RSS feeds. And coming in at number 12 is We Flash for Notification Center. And let me show you exactly what that does. When you bring down Notification Center, if you have it set to appear in Notification Center, you can directly turn on your iPhone's flash. So once I tap this, it will automatically turn on the LED flash. Now this also does work if you have IntelliScreen X, so you can do it directly from your lock screen. Let me give you a quick example of that one as well. So it already has the flash on. Let's turn it off and then turn it back on again, directly from the lock screen. Now this is very useful if you use your iPhone a lot at night and you use it for its LED flash capabilities frequently. Moving on, blurry NC background made number 13 in this video. And as the name suggests, it essentially takes a screenshot of whatever screen you're on and it adds a blur to it, which looks quite nice. And finally, diet bar is number 14 in this video. Let me open up settings and I'll show you exactly what it does. As you can see up here for the top bar, it makes it significantly smaller than normal. So let me show you the fifth generation iPod touch here. Let me open up the settings application. As you can see, the size difference between the two is definitely noticeable. Don't forget to rate this video up and leave a comment down below in the comment section if you want to be entered into my giveaway to possibly win one of two Amazon $200 gift cards. And your comment doesn't have to include any keyword. As long as it's relevant, once it's posted, you'll be automatically entered to win. And don't forget, if you haven't already watched my Evasion Jailbreak video for iOS 6 through 6.1, just be sure to do so. I'll have a link to that down below in the more info. And before I conclude, I just wanted to say that I had a lot of other tweaks to share with you guys. However, a lot of them aren't compatible with either iOS 6 or the newer iOS-based devices. So I'll have to save those tweaks for another video, and hopefully the developers will be able to update them and once they do so and I have a new list, I'll create another video for you guys. And just be sure to like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, and add me in one of your circles inside of Google Plus to be updated more often. And until next time, this is ICU, signing out.